previously during the investigation. FBI, I help the kids. All right. Now I just stopped by this neighborhood. This is Thomas's apartment. It's closed right now though, so yeah, I guess he is away from home. I can see inside. Let's take a peek. Pressing his face up against the window. Now, I'm actually going to go sleep. Not in the game, I mean. Because I want to pass by the day so I can get ready for uh, tomorrow. Because so, I can do one more side quest. Yep, Thomas isn't home. What a shame. The idea here, though, let's first get out of here. It's been a while since I've actually investigated any person's windows. But Thomas is not home. And he's not at the store. And he's not at the sheriff's department. Where could Thomas be? Now then, on top of that, as I said, we need to go by Harry's mansion, but first I'm just gonna sleep it off. Hey, I got a radio. George, carry me home. Go here, go to our phone, use that immediately. Yo. We're going to stop by my sweet home. And just take a little bit of a rest there. Once we get the rest that we need here, we can go off to the sheriff's department and see if I get another cutscene of Emily cooking. <laughs> and then we can go off and do to the next uh, main story location after pick up my brand new car. I should probably change my clothes though. Let's see, the appropriate outfit for the next location. I do like that suit. Sure, change of clothes. Let's uh, change to this. And send this one in for cleaning. We need to wait 24 hours for it to get cleaned. In the meantime, let's <sighs> rest in bed. You get ready for this, York? Let's have a long sleep for 12 hours. Yeah. <sighs> York, you're seeing mighty hungry. However, though, there aren't many people who uh, cook at this time of night. It should be like, what? 3.27 a.m.? Alright, we're gonna sleep for another six hours and then be starving. Six hours sleep. <laughs> now we should be careful because we're gonna start losing health because we're out of, uh, we're so hungry that we're gonna die. Item, what can I cook you, York? You know what? I don't think we need high quality beef, so you can probably eat that. Oh, that did the job. However, there's a little bit more for us to do. Let's break on out. Or not. Uh, the door out is this way. York doesn't bathe, he just sends his clothes in for cleaning. That's how he works. Apparently. Now then. Sheriff's Department. See if I'm triggering a cutscene. If not, it's time to continue the story. After I pick up my car. My sweet new ride. Let the hot dog tell us all. Okay. I can just teleport to the sheriff's station, right? Let's make my life easy. George, I know it's 9 a.m. in the morning, but send me off to the police station. Here we go. See? As easy as calling George all the time, trap us everywhere. Looks like breakfast is open. You know, if beef wasn't enough for a good old York, he needs to have something else to go with his meal. Like Emily's cooking. That's not going to help us at all if that's actually the case. But hey, maybe I can trigger it. Maybe I can't. 
Hey, Emily. Let's eat. <sighs> you're really going to see Harry? I have no idea what you're thinking at times like this, but I you know Thomas still missing. What should we do for lunch? Why don't you make it for us, or let's get our own separately. Let's try to get our own separately. Sounds good. Well then, about Thomas, we need to look for him. I'll go with George to find Thomas. You go off and enjoy your tea. Oh, I will. I won't have any other way. Oh, please. I don't know what I almost saw in you. Wait. That isn't trick cooking time. Make us lunch, Emily. Mmm. Mmm. Now we're gonna actually stop by the good old uh, junkyard, I guess. And from the junkyard, what we're going to try and see is if our car is finally done. That completes another side quest, not to mention York's car is the best car in the game. So, you know, that's hopeful. The mmm, mmm, sort of magic. Learn about bait worms in the meantime. Unbelievably delicious turkey sandwich. The more you know. Turkey sandwich is the best, I believe, consumption island item in the game. The excuse is that the turkey sandwich is made by Thomas, who is an amazing cook. Now, item, use the radio. And let's make our way to the junkyard. There we go. That's a textured potato. Is our car done yet? General. General. It's been a few days. Is our car done yet? <laughs> Let's talk. It's all fixed up. I parked it out front. Go take it, soldier. It's yours. I haven't seen a wild ride like that in ages. Oh dear. Well, our car is finished. Let's go and claim York's car. Bada da. It feels so great to be back in my own car, Zach. Remember when I bought this beauty? We took it for a spin together. But in the end, all we did was circle a few blocks and return home. Hardly worth starting the engine for, really. The general did a good job, though, didn't he? Car before, but that was on a non-save file. So there we go, we got it. Now our car is obtained. York's car is the fastest car in the game, but there's an added benefit to it. It also has unlimited health, not only gas though. Also has a really over the top uh, handling. You can say it's either good or bad based on uh, well, what you, I guess, guess. Well, let's go over to the next story location. It's kind of hard to handle. It's only because it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Uh, anyways, though, I fucking turned so crazily. Um, uh, let's go up then. I want to see something, because this is the this is the area that's most likely to make your car fly. Let me try this right now. It's a little bit too extreme. I did do a fucking barrel roll inside the car with no ability. Now, this might send me flying. Let's find out. Fuck. If I didn't ram into that, that would have been amazing. Alright, let's go up for a second. Look what it says on the thing. It says York's driving. That's what it for, I believe. So I can fly off of this. Yes! Airtime obtained. Alright, and we have unlimited health, so it not really matter, I guess. Anyways, let's go off and go finally to the next story location in a brand new car. 
We have actually quite a lot of story to go. To be a little bit surprised. We're almost done with all the side quests in the game, though, so I can focus more on the story. Alright, let's make our way. We need to just sort of drive this direction, I believe. Maybe it's not this way. Get to my map. I believe it's this way. Yeah, I can get here from over here. It's just gonna take a little effort. Let's turn ourselves around. Just gotta get ourselves to turn correctly. I've got a good York's car as I turn quickly though. Just like a hard handle. Like just slightly tapping the direction makes it go crazy. The roads are nothing to us now. Let's drive, York. Drive! Long distance. Hey, Desire, because, you know, we need to take out a few of the light poles, but we also got vandalism. Which one's worth more? I'm not sure. I'm going to take the long routes. Okay, I got this. He turns so crazily. The bright side is that we should be able to get to where we're heading in no time at all because of this. Trust in my driving skills, everyone. Just hold your fists together and believe and say, Drive, Ryan, drive! I'll drive like a... Amazing if you do that. Mm -hmm. Um, is <laughs> though going off this direction? Should be there in no time. Yeah, yeah. Hi. All right. Still got a little bit to go. Speed car go go speed racer. That's part of the fun. He has no off road penalties. I don't think either. At least very minimal off-road penalties. How fast is this car? It can probably go to the hundreds. Yes, it can. All right, we're almost to where we need to be heading towards for story purposes. Now that we should be down this road into the first right that we can take, which is this way. Excuse me, Square sixty-five. On our way! Finally, story hmm? purposes. No, nothing. Just my imagination. That's how we like it, York. We've never been down this road actually properly in this playthrough, I believe. This is where we need to go, though, reach the next story point. A thousand miles to make that less. I'm kind of excited for this, I'll be honest. And I meant to say this before, I don't want to say too much, but this next location is my favorite nightmare scenario. I to go back to it. Back in the day, it was my favorite, though. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. can't leave now. They're correct. We have entered inside Harry's Mansion. Let me save my game for a moment. We're going to be going into the next main story location. Let's do this. In my opinion as well, this is also the point where the story starts picking up, but I won't say why. Out! Mr. Francis York Morgan. Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. What? 
The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Michael? He's practically devoid of expression. He'd almost think he was a robot. Is it his ideals as a servant, or is there another reason? Let's talk. Yes? Mr. Francis York Morgan. The timing is now to meet Mr. Stewart. You shall be kind and be alert. The timing is now and not tomorrow. If you miss it, you'll feel sorrow. So until your meeting is finished, I shall be locking the front door. If you get tired or become famished, what we have, please use as yours. Yep, we are now locked in the mansion until we go meet Mr. Stewart. Pictures of people here. A ghostly ganlet. Various different pictures from the rest of the pictures in the game. Art! Art! Okay, that's going forward though. Take a little bit of a gander here. There's a lot of stuff to kind of look at. Like, where are you? 70, number 3. Erica. Symphony number five, Fate, Symphony number six, Pastor. Of the multitude of musical scores, these three are the only ones left open. If Harry did this, it must have a meaning. So, yeah, I know, we just read the thing that we just wanted to read into. There we go. This one's also kind of. Yeah, that one's closed. Probably shouldn't try and get in here. Or maybe you should, York. Maybe you should. Here, there's another save phone if for some reason we want to save again. It reads guest room number four. It's unlocked. Could be quite comfortable if we decide to stay here. That's a pretty nice area. You know what? I'm going to do the unthinkable. I'm going to shave. Hmm, not bad. Get that beard down for a little bit. Usually it's mirrors. All right, we're shaving. Hello, face. That's our weapon storage. Actually, I should probably. You know what? I'm gonna take a quick moment. I have some things I need to throw in my toolbox. My toolbox is actually full right now, and there's a lot of stuff I'm never gonna actually use. Let's uh, go in here. Actually, go back. Take item out. I'm never going to use these bars. Take them out. Uh, yeah, I need to get rid of some stuff. Uh, Wesley Special. Customer burner made by Wesley himself. Unleashes a brutal, damaging fire. When I get this, take them out. Your inventory is full. You cannot carry anything else. Okay, no, I need to get stuff. Oh, my inventory on my inventory first, apparently. I've been needing to do some item management for a while, and I might as well do it now. It doesn't affect key items. Like, I don't need bars. Throw that way. Ike Sax. I got better melee weapons. It's kind of cool. We'll keep the sword because that's kind of awesome. FBI Custom. Should probably hold on to that. I'll throw away my shotgun. No. Dark gun. It's special limited edition. Wrench is useful. The ammo is useful. Well, no, it's not really useful, honestly. If I have all these unlimited ammo guns, I don't need these bullets. Throw this away. I, I, I don't need the assault rifle bullets either. I do need magnum bullets, though. Shotgun shells, though, don't need. Alright, go in here then now again. Let's see what I can take into my possession. Put an item away, take an item out. Let's take an item out. Let's get rid of some of the stuff I don't need either. Weapons. I don't need this bars. I don't need these knives. I don't need these golf clubs. Oh, but my inventory is already full. Well, that rolls. Let's throw some of this stuff away. You can shave without a mirror. I do it sometimes like that. All right. Let me throw these bars away. Let me throw this knife away. I want to check out the flamethrower because I'm curious about more than anything. Take item out. I'll also throw away the steel pipes I don't need. I'll pick, I'll take out the Wesley Special and I'll throw out the steel pipes I don't need. Now items that are not these. 
I got these. I should probably take over my medical kits out. A large medical kit might be appreciated too. I'm gonna take out my band-aids as well. I got this stuff in storage, don't I? I gotta eat a uh, turkey sandwich as well. I'll take that out of my inventory as well, and you know, it looks like it's good. Uh, and I don't really have anything to put away. I just got stuff which I can use for a Alright, inside here. Weapon. Let's throw out these steel pipes. Cool, cool. Yeah, looks like good. Whoa! Oh, there's even something here. Umbrella for guest room number four. Observe. An umbrella rack and a single... Okay. An umbrella rack and a single umbrella inscribed with a four. Same as the room number. Four seasons, four wheel drive, four horsemen. We'll take it though. We have an umbrella. Obtained. Alright, go to the next room to check out. You have another umbrella? Do have another umbrella? You got umbrella for guest room number five. So you have umbrella four and umbrella five. Seems like there's a puzzle coming up. Still more to check out though. You open? You are open. Uh, we're gonna come back to you. I know what this is for too. Uh, let's try over here. Umbrella? There is an umbrella. Umbrella for guest room number six. Gotta check out all the different doors, don't you know? Anything down here? At least one room. There's the umbrella. Umbrella for guest room number three. They're different colors, even. I just noticed that right now. How about you now? Where? Oh, wait, there's actually an item in here. I almost didn't notice. High quality beef. I'll take some of that. And here's the umbrella for guest room number two. And you're guest room number one, right? There you are. Guest room number one. That one was green. All right, so now let's also go through the middle and see if we can meet up, because this last where you go. Reed's drawing room. The door's locked, but there's no keyhole. Could there be another way to open it? Yes, there is. We're going to do it right now, in fact. Let's do this puzzle. A statue. Caverly, apparently. Looks like it was meant to hold something. A Springfield rifle, perhaps? Out. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. A statue of a cavalry trooper. What secrets it holds? A statue of cavalry. Apparently, it looks like there's been told sign. All right. I think I remember the solution to this puzzle. It's really easy, actually. Uh, you need to look at the musical scores and then put them in order. Musical scores, here I come. Da 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 da. Three, five, and six. Got it. I'll turn my flashlight on for no reason. I'll take it. Alright, you are three. Brilliant, I know. That's right. You are five. You know, Harry, we could have just left with all these umbrellas. We could have just taken all the umbrellas and just left. And six. Easy enough. Now they all flash green and the door opens. See, ain't that just handy? In and out and all about. <laughs> Let's go through the door now.
Mr. Francis York Morgan, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. Mr. Francis York Morgan, some tea with sugar is what's best admired. By your body that looks so tired, so says Mr. Stewart. Harry, where did you get these seeds? Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town, in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk, after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, so you like to play games? Mr. Francis York Morgan, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play along. Zack, let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zack? It must be the graveyard. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. Graveyard to go-go. However, though, because we're in this chapter, I want to quickly see, since there's only a few, there's a few side quests that finish after, like, the next few episodes, what can I miss that one? I already know that. These I've already missed. Which ones can I do right now, which I haven't done yet? Uh, that is, has to wait for that episode. This, I know what I have to do for that. In fact, I'll do it right now. No, no, that one I've already done. I think there's only two side quests I can finish off here. Uh, this one I need to do whenever I collect enough cards. I believe 36 is how many I need. Yep, okay, so there's two cycles I can do right now. And they're really easy. Like, they're probably some of the easiest cycles I can possibly get right now. Go here. Summon the radio. Use. I'm going to first head towards the store. Where is it? Something's been added to my... Something has been added. Harry's Mansion's been added. Okay. 
that moves stuff around on my map. I think it'd been better if York didn't tell you to answer me. But he did. I already knew where to go though, so it's like. Alright, this place is thankfully open right now, which means I can give Keith back his guitar. That's one of the two side quests I can do. I could hold on to it longer, make some of the levels a little bit easier, but for the moment, it's all part of the good. Hey, Kason. You! So, the same CIA agent has to go and infiltrate another country. His first task is to meet a spy called Peter. So he takes place, so he puts an ad in the newspaper, the standard form of communication. To Peter, meet me in the park tomorrow morning at 7. It should have been a simple mission, but a terrible sight was waiting for him in the park. Close to 100 men called Peter all hanging around. Baker's name Peter, Butcher's name Peter, Shafir's, Flores, Actors, Peter's, Peter's as far as the eye could see. Peter was obviously a very popular name in this country. Throw a stone in the street and you'd hit a Peter. The agent had no choice but to ask each of them the secret code. None of them answered correctly. Sick and tired of it all, and now we'll pass seven. The agent eventually shouts, Hey, is there a spy called Peter here? At which point, if Peter emerges from the crowd and says, I'm the spy called Peter. You should have wrote in the ad that you want the spy called Peter. Oh, you heard that one before, did you, York? I've got plenty more. Want to hear some? Not really. Um, I will talk again, I guess. You! Oh, you heard the one before, did you, York? I've got plenty more. You want to hear some? Oh dear, Kason. Richard! <laughs> You're still going to keep investigating, right? Maybe. <laughs> hey, Keith. Let's talk a little bit. Then <laughs> Yo, dude. Hey, man. Keith, what's wrong? You're usually more upbeat. You really want me to drag you down too, FBI? Maybe I can pull you back up. Well, I've lost something, man. My most precious treasure in the whole world. Well, my most precious after my family. My guitar, man. It's gone. Lily said she gave it away. Gave it away. Can you believe that? She says it's my fault for not tidying up the storeroom. I don't get her, man. What kind of logic is that? I didn't tidy up the storeroom, so I have to lose my guitar? <sighs> you with me, right, FBI? Man to man, you see where I'm coming from. Your guitar means that much to you. Oh, uh, my meeting with that fine guitar is what led me onto the path of rock, man. It was back in high school. I made my first visit to Seattle. The world was tired of pop music and people were crying out for a new sound. It was only a few years before grunge would explode out of Seattle. I met a true rocker there, man. He had the sunglasses, a biker jacket, and the long hair. Man, he even had a bandana. I mean, he was behind the times by then. But nevertheless, the pure white guitar on his back hypnotized all who passed him. In the midst of everyone wanting something new, I glimpsed a tradition that had to continue. That's right. It's called Rockabilly. You dig me, right, man? The world can't be built solely on new things. I couldn't help myself. I approached him and opened my mouth. I told him what I was feeling, FBI, right there on the street. I don't remember the words I use now. It was, it was like a dream. But it sparked something inside me. I can tell you that. Our shared love of music allowed us to talk like old friends. Before I knew it, I'd been hanging out with this guy for three days. When I finally had to go home, what do you know? He gave me that guitar, man. He said that the soul of rock should be passed on to the next generation. That is how the legendary guitar Grekoch came into my hands. Well, thanks for listening anyway, FBI. It means a lot to me. On to Burrow Mansane, because of course we're in possession of his guitar right now. <sighs> Yo, dude. What do you want? Well, turns out we have a... Where is it? You want an next recipe for macaroni and cheese? 
meatloaf? Eggs Benedict? I don't know. I, I thought. Oh, wait, weapon, right. There is luxury guitar. Hey! <gasps> oh, baby! Where did you find it? Lily gave it to me as a reward for cleaning up the storage room. Oh, I see. Well, um, I'm happy to see it with you. Treat it well. I'll, uh, I'll just do the manly thing and, uh, forget about it. Come on now, Keith. I can't play it myself. Instruments exist to be played, not to become an ornament. What am I going to do with it? Use it as a weapon? That's not what it's for. You're the owner of this guitar. You should have it. Bro! Your story relit the burnt-out fire of rock in my soul. FBI, you're all right. Hey, just hold on a moment. Take this, then, in exchange. It's a gold card, our super discount card. There's no markup on anything we sell you if you use this. Uh, this, in a way, means I'd work for no pay for you, man. Are you sure? Of course, we're buddies, man. <laughs> yeah. Scouts. All right, let's head on out. So that's the first of the two side quests I need to do. The other one is I need to find Roman Sigourney, and I can actually finally get to talk to the pot, because it's the last one, which means that I pot loving. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, which I am using to try and make this more of a livelihood, not just for missed game videos, but little games to make my own time, and to bring different types of videos to the channel. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below, or in the video, obviously. If you'd be interested in seeing me recording gameplay videos and doing other things live, I stream quite regularly and record almost all my gameplay over a site called Hitbox TV on my channel. You can also see that in the video currently. Hope you enjoyed the video, and adieu.